Today we'll be cooking sweet and sour chicken stir fry. This is a very common dish in Asian restaurants and is of Cantonese origin. For this dish you'll need two large chicken breasts, one medium onion, one red pepper and one green pepper, some ginger, some garlic and two spring onions. Ensuring that your wok is on a very high heat, to start add two tablespoons of oil, leave it in the pan just to heat. You'll first add your onions, your onion, your ginger and your garlic are the three main ingredients when cooking authentic Chinese food. And you're looking to hear a, hit, a sizzle and a hiss when you add your onions to the pan. Ensuring that you're constantly stirring, then add your ginger and your garlic to the pan as well. You're looking for your onions to become translucent and slightly coloured and this should take one to two minutes before adding your next ingredients. Next, add your chicken to the pan. And at the same time, you add your sauce to ensure maximum absorption of the flavours. Typically, one 185ml jar of the Wing Yip sweet and sour sauce will serve three to four portions. Next, you'll add a bit of water to the jar to ensure that all the flavours from inside are picked up. Um, ensuring that your wok is on a high heat, you're looking for your sauce to reduce by half and your chicken to be cooked through and this should take five to six minutes. If your sauce starts to thicken too quickly you can always add just a bit more water. As you can see the sauce is now reduced by half and so next you add the peppers. We use a variety of colours because um, it looks nicer and it gives a variety of textures as well. These will take a further two minutes to cook. When cooking stir fries you want to ensure that your wok is always on a high temperature and you're constantly stirring our food hence the name stir fry. The sweet and sour sauce has a mild flavour. It's very popular among Western culture and among children. Once the peppers have become slightly tender, next you add your spring onion whites as they cook faster than your spring onion greens. This dish also works very nicely with things like pork and seafood. After a further minute of cooking, your spring onions should be cooked. You add your spring onion greens and then turn off your heat. To further enhance your dish, you can add a few drops of sesame oil as well. And there you have sweet and sour chicken. And now we serve. As you can see all the lovely colours of the peppers in the dish and the nice thick sauce coating the chicken. This dish is traditionally served with rice or noodles, but could also be served in a more western fashion with a jacket potato. All the ingredients are available in the Wing Yip Superstores and the dry ingredients are available online.